What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And this might not be a video for every single player out there. I mean, definitely not for veterans because they're already going to know the answers to all of these questions. But for newer players, this might be really, really helpful for you guys. So a lot of things I get asked is, you know, what character should I use for what specific game modes? And the truth is, guys, you have just multiple teams in this game to where you really want to develop, you know, a different elemental teams, whether it's fire, dark, physical, lightning, all of these different types of elements. You really want to develop teams surrounding by a certain type of element. And the main reason for this is because in this game where you go to challenge mode is Phantom Pain Cage and Warzone. Each of these games modes gives you an advantage and a disadvantage against certain bosses. For example, in Phantom Pain Cage, you actually need Rosetta to take on Alpha. Al Rosetta actually has the advantage. Against uh, Roseblade here, you actually need Ice, right? So Lucia Plume would be really good for this one. And against Rosetta, uh, May attackers characters at close range really have the advantage right and then in war zone they have different types of elements rank number two guys first time I ever broke a million really proud of that but anyways you know they'll have like lightning here you got fire here physical here uh, dark here and then right here you'll actually have ice right so you have all these different elements so you're really trying to develop teams surrounded by those elements and not every player in the game has all the meta teams they don't have all the meta characters so what I've done guys is I've actually created a spreadsheet for all the different teams that you can use, at least most of the teams that you can use in the game. So we're going to start off with this right here. So this is, it says Warzone team, guys, but this is actually going to be for Phantom Bane Cage and Warzone. I will kind of change this title later on. But as you guys can see, I've really had the top teams up at the top down to the bottom. Now, what I've went ahead and done is I set up the slots. These are the color slots that you'd actually put your characters in in the game. So you got your blue slot, your red slot, and your yellow slot, right? And that way, it you know, help you guys focus on where to put your characters at. Now, I also put these little notes in here as well to kind of give you some advice on what you can do but i'm going to elaborate a little bit more on the memory setups and the advice i'm giving here so i mean obviously guys the near team is going to be the strongest physical team for the most part guys not in every single situation as we proved in the previous video with alpha but they are definitely godly and then you can see here guys that i have another alternative where you'd have you know a2 a triple s and maybe i'll put like a triple s icon on here some so that people have a better idea but i don't think i really need to but if i do let me know down in the comments if that would help and you know then of course you know you you put 9s or uh, b live here and then you could have nanami or Kamoi here for your physical team if you're just using a2 as your main damage dealer and then of course you got the alpha team with rosetta and if you don't have alpha then having Karenina and Nanami or Kamoi is going to be really, really great for Warzone because Karenina, you're going to see a lot of times, guys, is just really, really great for her blue orbs because she just gathers opponents together. However, you know, A2 is a free character, but for those of you that might watch this video and the Near Club already have passed, passed, then, you know, Karenina is going to be a really good one for you, especially for your physical team. Uh, in Warzone, especially because of her blue orbs, she just gathers everybody together and Alpha can just burn them all right down. And then I got S. Lee here uh, as far as, you know, another team. Now, this isn't all the physical possibilities that are there. We do have A. Bianca, but I didn't put her on here because most players are either going to use S. Lee or they're going to use Alpha or they're going to use Nier for their physical teams. Now, what I plan on doing, guys, is I'll probably make separate videos regarding, like, uh, gameplay with Bianca and certain A-rank characters that maybe I don't have on this list. I'll do some separate gameplays for them. And so we move over here, guys. And, you know, this is Ice right here, obviously, right? And Lucia Plume really is just a must. If you don't have her, she's going to be, I mean, you just, you absolutely need this character in order to get it done, guys. If you don't have Lucia Plume, you're not going to do worth a crap in Ice. You'd be better off just using a different team. But, I mean, this is a team composition right now, although very soon we are going to be getting another Ice character. So that's actually going to change. But for right now, this is a team composition that we're going to be using now. And this one's really great for Warzone because, again, Karenina just brings in all the opponents with her blue orbs. Lucia is really good with the Zwayne set. Uh, she's just amazing with that set because she actually procs it. And then we have this last team right here. Ayla, you guys, you know, a little couple tidbits about this. Ayla is always going to increase elemental resistance, right? She, or she's always going to debuff elemental, right? So anytime you put Ayla with an elemental character, right, whether it's fire, ice, uh, whatever it may be, she's actually going to be really useful because she can actually decrease the elemental resistance. That's why she's going to be really good for someone like Lucia Plume. Let me scroll down here and we got the dark team, guys. And again, you see Ayla here for the same reasons I just explained. Obviously, Kamui and Vera and Luna are going to be the best when it comes to the dark team. And then, you know, you could have, if you don't have Luna, then you could absolutely use uh, Watanabe. If you don't have Kamui, then you could actually use just this solid A team right here 
four year dark team. You can easily farm for all these characters. And then over here in the lightning guys, I mean, there isn't a whole lot of options as far as lightning. I mean, if you have Bianca, these two characters are A rank. You can easily level them up as long as you have Bianca. And if you don't have Bianca, you can easily get Lucia Dawn and set up a lightning team surrounded by this right here until in the future when Esfera actually shows up. And I will update this thing as we get new characters in the game. And then we got Fire. Now, the reason the Nier team is on top, guys, is because they just dominate in the fire zone. They're just going to do more damage than the fire characters. That's just the way it is. They're just going to out DPS Karenina, unfortunately. But if you don't have the near team, then Karenina is going to be number one. Then after Karenina is going to be Fire God Lee. And I'll probably end up doing a video with Fire God uh, using these teams, maybe showing him in Pain Cage, maybe showing him in Warzone. And what I'll probably end up doing, guys, is, you know, for the characters that I have available on my roster, I might set up a link here for the video that I would do gameplay for them for. So you could easily click on it and you could watch these same teams in action and I'm actually showing the exact memories on them. I think that would be a, a really, really good idea. And again, not every single possibility is on here. I mean, the three characters that you start off with, which are uh, B. Lucia, B. Liv, and B. Nanami. I mean, B. Liv and B. Nanami are on here, but B. Lucia is not on here because there's just other characters that's just going to be better, right? She's a great starter character. Well, actually, B. Lucia is right here. She's right here in the center because she actually works really well with the Zwayne set, but she's not really going to be used as a damage dealer. However, I will probably end up showing a video uh, regarding those three because they are the first characters that you start off in the game and show you guys how to do some gameplay with them. Then I also set up a memory guide for you guys. So for every single character, you guys can see I have attacker up here, I have tank, and I have supports, right? And you can see a four, a two, right? That means four memories, two memories, right? You have six memory slots on each character. And you, so for example, for Lee here, you put four patents and then two Darwins, right? And then you put two Darwins or four Frederick if you actually prefer that play style, right? Karenina, you got the four Shakespeare and the two Darwins and so on and so on and so on. I got all the possible memories that you'd want to put on showing that you need, you know, whether it's four memories of this type and then two memories of this type. Now, the thing that people always kind of get fused when it comes to memories is what memories should they put on top and what memories should they put on bottom? Well, the thing is, guys, the memories that you want to put on the bottom are the ones with the most native high attack. So I'm going to, there we go, zoom out that a little bit. And the reason for that is I got a little slot right here, right, guys, okay? And it shows here, these are six slots, right? You got slot one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And what I might end up doing in the future is I might take a screenshot of the actual slots in our game and then just put it right here to make it a little easier to understand. And you want to put your higher attack memories on bottom, guys. And what I've done is for every single memory I show the attack stats on them, right? So for the Condolina, it's 132. For the Shakespeare, it's 134. Heisen, it's 134. And so on and so on and so on. It shows all the attack stats for all of the six star memories and then a few uh, five stars because these actually can be very, very useful, right? So like these Lancer memories are only at 109 attack. So because they're so low and say, say just for example, guys, say I was using a Lantern with a four piece Cotty. The Cotty has 135 and the Lantern has 109. So I would put the two lanterns on top and the four three cotties on bottom because they have the higher attack and then the one cotty here. If I'm using four Heisens with two Einsna, for example, the Heisen has 134 and the Einsna has 132, right? So the Heisen actually has higher attack stats than the Einsna set, right? So you'd put the Heisens all on bottom here. You'd put these Heisens that have 134 attack all on the bottom, and then you put one Heisen up here, and then the other two slots, you would actually put the Einsna because it has lower attack. Remember, the lower attack ones go on top, and the higher attack go on bottom. That way you can fully optimize your memories on your characters and get the most BP out of them. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does add a little something something for you as far as the amount of power that your character is going to have. And I tried to make this as easily understandable as I could, guys. I really tried to keep it as simple as possible. I mean, we got a column for the attackers, for the tanks, for all of the supports. And, I, and again, I will update this as we get new characters and put them in here. And I will have a link to this spreadsheet in the description below. I also will have these screenshotted and the links in my Discord as well. And, that is also, and the link to that is also in the description below. And I even put here, always put memories with higher attack on bottom, you know, just so you guys know and just have it in here. But again, I'll probably end up, you know, maybe, you know, putting in some uh, uh, links in here for certain videos. Like right now, I actually have uh, one link. I think it's in my memory guides here. I have one link 
right here how to one shot right with uh, using alpha and I'll probably end up adding some other links in here as well that way when you guys click on this thing you can just click on it. again I'll probably just end up doing some gameplay on the PGR team page here where I'll show gameplay from certain teams and that way you guys can figure out exactly how you want to play them maybe what teams you want to use but I'll probably end up starting this off with the very first characters that we start playing in the game with B Lucia, B Liv and B Nami and show you all how you want to play those teams and then after that I'll probably go with some neighboring characters like Fire God Lee maybe Karenina and so on and so on and so on so guys hopefully this will help some of you out there as far as you know figuring out what memories you need to put on your characters you know what team compositions you need to use and set up uh, for your characters and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on these spreadsheets you know something that might be a little bit more intuitive or something that might actually help some of you guys out out there and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gt plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody